Hi everyone, if you have a child with autism, you need to stay tuned and watch this full video. I'm gonna start the video out with a quick story. Uh, listen to this, this actually happened. We were at the store one day. Uh, Joshua was standing at the end of the buggy. I was paying for our stuff. We had a lot of bags. And the gal, the cashier, she turned to Joshua and she said, help your mom take care of the bags. I was paying, so I, I only kind of heard it, but I wasn't really processing that. I was just kind of, I heard her say it. And I heard her say again, like, son, help your mom with these bags. And I looked up and I was horrified because Joshua was standing there with the bags in his hands. She had handed him the bags. She was wanting him to take the bags and put them into the buggy so I could go out of the store. And he was holding them looking petrified, like, what do I do? He did not understand what she wanted him to do. And I said, I'm sorry, Joshua has autism. He does not understand what you want him to do with the bags. You need to explain to him to put them into the buggy. So I said, honey, we need to take the bags and put them into the buggy. Even though we've done it a thousand times, when she asked him to do that, he didn't understand what she wanted him to do. These are things we need to be conscious of and think about when we're talking to our children or someone else is talking to our children. Be really vigilant about explaining to them exactly what you want from them. It is so easy for them to get confused. I was just so sad that he was standing there looking so terrified and, and, and upset because he wanted to help, but he did not know what to do. Uh, anyways, I wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody because I don't know if I actually said that to, to you guys yet, but we wish you guys a Happy New Year. We thank all of our new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And today we're gonna talk about um, sensory processing disorder and autism spectrum disorder because they are not exclusive. And if you have autism spectrum disorder, if you're on the autism spectrum, typically you are going to have sensory processing disorder. But if you have sensory processing disorder, you may not have autism because sensory processing disorder is exactly what that means. What happens is your senses, your sight, your smell, your hearing, your touch, things like that, they have either one of two things. They have over or under uh, reaction to any one of those senses. Perfect examples <clears throat> are Joshua will get super upset over the smallest thing. He will cry and scream and throw a fit, i.e. meltdowns, for whatever the reason is. I've got a perfect example. caught him laughing hysterically. I could not get him to stop. He was laughing about the voice, somebody's voice and the way the voice sounded. So he was just going absolutely hysterically laughing over the sound of this voice. And typically it's sound that will set Joshua off, a sound. A fire alarm would cause very inappropriate screaming and just carrying on. Now autism, when we talk about autism spectrum disorder, that is <music> sensory processing disorder you can have alone without being autistic, but when you have autism, typically you do have sensory processing disorder. 
with Joshua when he was a small child, when he was three and four and five years old, with his sensory processing disorder, it was much, much worse or much more extreme. Now that his communication skills are better and he can tell me what bothers him, um, I have a much better gauge at things on what may or may not trigger him. And if you are a parent to a young child who just seems like oh my gosh, this child goes crazy when they hear a noise or if they see something. For us, and for a lot of people that I know, with age, it has gotten a million times better. But communication has been the biggest thing with Joshua. Him being able to tell me things that bother him. Me understanding things. But with sensory processing disorder, a very, very important thing. You have a child where you tell or ask them something and they just seem to ignore you. They just seem to be oblivious to whatever you're saying. That is sensory processing disorder many, many times. With Joshua, I have to say things sometimes three and four times and sometimes I have to wait a few minutes. I say it and I have to stop and I have to allow his brain to process what I said to him. Autism spectrum disorder, a, a learning disability. It is a disorder where learning and communication and social skills is the defining part of this disorder. Sadly, a lot of times what you see, since it's hard for them to learn and then they process things differently, as with Joshua, he has a lot of social anxiety when he goes out. So listening to you and you communicating and them communicating back to you, this is what this disorder is. They need time to process. I'm, I'm telling you, if you're one of those parents like I am and, and, and was and still am, and I am in a hurry and I'm, get your shoes on Joshua, we have to go. And he's not doing it within the next, you know, five seconds and I don't see movement. I have to stop myself and I have to say, he needs time to process what I'm saying to him. And I cannot give him more than two or three tasks to do at a time because I know he needs a few minutes to process one and two and three things. Um, so any more than that is just going to be lost. So I hope you found this uh, informative and sensory processing disorder with the senses. Autism is a learning disability. They learn and communicate differently. Yeah. You may have sensory processing, but you may not be autistic. So that is it. That's what I have. There's so much more to talk about on these topics and get into this topic more if you guys are interested. But these are things that I kind of wished I knew, so I'm just gauging off of that. And uh, to our new subscribers, you guys rock. All of you guys, thank you so much. We have people that show up every video, and I just want you guys to know it does not go unnoticed. You guys are awesome, you're amazing. And I just wanna say thank you for subscribing. We're on our way to a thousand and we're trying to get there so share our videos so we can get there thanks a lot and peace <laughs> 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah.